Hello you guys, welcome back to another vlog. It is mm, Thursday morning right now. Just woke up about like 45 minutes ago. I posted, Cholula is getting a little water. <laughs> I posted a little TikTok this morning from bed. I was working on that. So this is gonna be a little weekend in my life. I guess like end of the week, weekend in my life starting today. The dogs are doing great. <laughs> Cholula's playing right now. And they've, guys, even since my last vlog, they have been playing so much. Like every day, multiple times a day, they'll just like play in the hallway or in the living room. Even on, like on the couch the other day, they were playing and it's just, it's really cute. And I'm really like just so happy to see that Squirtle is just playing with this little guy. You happen to have missed my last vlog, which probably most of you didn't, but we did adopt Squirtle, a little brother. So I'll have it linked up here in case you happen to miss that one. What I might do in this vlog, we'll see. I keep thinking it's gonna be warm enough to do this and then there was snow outside this morning, but I really wanna decorate my front porch and also get the furniture back out on the balcony and kind of just get some things like dusted off and cleaned off on the balcony for spring. I haven't even done that yet and I would like to do that in one of my next few vlogs. So hopefully we can do it in this vlog. Today should be pretty chill. I'm gonna take an off day from working out, which wasn't really in the plan. Usually I go on Thursdays, but I'm getting my nails done this afternoon at the time that I usually go. And I just figured I could take a class, like the same class tomorrow. Hydrated dogs this morning. We love to see it. Anyway, yes, we're getting the nails done today. Very excited for that. One of mine actually broke last week. It was my own fault. I slammed my nail into the wall by accident, just like, doing something downstairs cleaning or something and it just kind of hit at that perfect angle to breaks. And other than that, I'm just gonna be doing like some work and productive stuff around the house today and kind of have like a day at home just getting some things done today with you guys. So, welcome back. I Currently, they were just having a face off. Squirrel's like, are you gonna let me up on my couch? You going to check on dad? Okay, bye. He left. Oh, are you gonna play? Oh, it's starting. It's starting. Good morning, play. What are you doing? I'm reading a book. <laughs> How's it going? Pretty good. Okay guys, I'm still in my chill clothes. I figured while I get dressed, I'm just gonna be hanging out for the next few hours at the house taking photos of stuff. I don't remember if I said that, that I was gonna be doing some deep hop. Um, pictures and listings over the next few days. So I have my little setup going right here. Got the windows all open. This room doesn't get that much light, so I'm using this ring light and just hanging the stuff on the wall to take pictures of it. I'm listing some shoes, some jackets, some other stuff that I have in the closet that I haven't gone through yet. So I'm just gonna see how many pictures I can take over the next like couple hours. And I'll put my Depop link on the screen if you guys want to check it out. And always in the description box with my links as well if you guys want to check out the stuff that I'm listing. I haven't listed over there in a while, honestly. And I definitely have some things. So here we go. I'm 
fresh out of the shower, starting to get ready. I'm doing a whole routine, so I just did some body oil. I'm gonna do a tan. And I'm also gonna show you guys my current favorite hairstyle that I've discovered for like short hair recently. So my hair is very wet, just got out of the shower. And I'm very excited to introduce the sponsor of this video, Tangle Teaser. So this is the new Tangle Teaser plant brush and we are gonna be using it together. My hair is super wet. I didn't even like really towel dry it. I kind of just like got straight out of the shower. I have nothing in my hair, so we're just going to use this to detangle. So the Tangle Teaser plant brush is made from plant-based material for the consumer who is looking for a sustainable hair brush option but also is committed to healthy hair. Like me, I'm on a hair journey right now with having my shorter hair again and really trying to keep it healthy and grow it out right now. I personally have never been able to find a brush that detangles but is also made from sustainable materials. So I just feel like this was the complete perfect thing for me. So the longer teeth flex over knots and detangles without pulling, without tugging as you can see. And the shorter teeth smooth the cuticle and add shine to your hair. And you guys can see with no product in my hair, no detangling product or anything, how easily it is detangling post shower. And I really like, that's kind of hard to find you guys. My hair is pretty naturally tangly. You start detangling at the tips of your hair and you work your way up slowly to the root until you can easily brush from root to end like I've gotten to that point now. And then brush with downward strokes following the shape of the head. And another sustainability initiative that Tangle Teaser is doing is called the Hairbrush Recycling Scheme. Which which allows you to recycle your old hairbrush for a discount on a new Tangle Teaser hairbrush. And I've just never personally seen a brand do that before. And I love that because I feel like how else are you supposed to dispose of your hairbrush? I absolutely think you guys should check out the new Tangle Teaser plant brush. So I'm gonna have a link in the top of my description box down below to go and check it out for yourself. I just feel like this was such a perfect sponsorship for me. So thank you so much to Tangle Teaser for sponsoring this portion of the video. I'm gonna let my hair dry and then in a little bit, I'm gonna come back to you guys in a couple hours and finish up my hairstyle. All right guys, it's been a few hours. I wanted to show you my finished hairstyle for today and tonight. I have worn this in a few recent vlogs and it's super, super easy to do. It's basically just taking your hair. You can do it parted or sometimes I do it with the hair just slicked back. I leave a few pieces out. Sometimes I've been curling them. Today I just left them straight and down and then I take one of these claw clips. I take my hair into a little tiny bun and kind of like push it up and then I put the claw clip in right here to kind of give it a little lift and a little oomph. I swear it looks so intentional and like cute but it's so easy. It literally takes like less than two minutes to do. I have already been rocking this hairstyle a lot recently and I will continue to because it's a perfect lazy day hair. You don't even have to like really style your hair. Definitely have to give the credit to this girl on TikTok though. That inspired me. I'll put her like username or her TikTok up on the screen right here because she is definitely the one that showed me how to do this hairstyle. So all credit goes to her. And let's get into the rest of the vlog. I'm headed to my nail appointment now. I had a pretty productive and busy but good afternoon just doing my Depop pictures and stuff. And then we took the boys to the park. I ate a little food and now I'm in the car it is loud out here so this is the before y'all already saw but i'm very excited for the after we're doing something cute today a little nail art so guys these might be some of my favorite nails i've ever had my nail girl lizette slayed she's so good at nail art which is one of the reasons i started seeing her I'll put the inspiration photo on the screen that I brought in, but they honestly turned out better than I even expected. I'm so happy with them, you guys, and I went a bit shorter as well. Cholula, what are we making? Are we having a green bean and bacon party? Making some delicious green beans and some bacon fat. And we're gonna have some leftovers of these, well, <laughs> pretty much on this last of these um, enchiladas that we made the other night. Mmm. Haven't had green beans in so long. Delicious. And my reheated enchiladas. Kind of a random combination tonight, but.
up you guys it's a beautiful Friday afternoon I'm feeling so good just finished an orange theory workout and I just feel great I've got a little iced coffee that I made here waiting for me I'm about to pop over to Albertsons which is next door just I think I'm just gonna get oat milk I mean I'll peek at my grocery list that's always ongoing and see if I need to pick up anything else but all right so let's head over there because it's getting really hot in my car <laughs> head home figure out what we're gonna do with this day and this afternoon I don't really have much planned today I think it's gonna be more of just like a a chill fun Friday catching up on maybe some things that I missed this week and continuing this vlog Jared and I are gonna go on a date tonight which will be fun here is my grocery haul I did end up getting a couple just a couple things I got myself some beautiful carnations some sweet potatoes a head of lettuce a tomato some buttermilk I want to make this I saw like angel food cake at the store sorry the dogs are hydrating and I want to make this cake that I have a recipe for in my Snoop Dogg book and it's like a buttermilk cake it's so good so i grabbed that hopefully I can make that like i don't know in the next week or this weekend and then i got my extra creamy creamy oat milk and it was on sale so that was exciting whoa morning guys it's saturday morning it's about 10 a.m woke up a little before 9 30 i've been trying to wake up like between 9 and 9 30 i feel like it's the perfect time to wake up um, for me personally, it's just like 9.30. It's not too early, it's not too late, and for me, once again. Anyway, it's another day. I feel like I didn't vlog too much yesterday, so I don't really know. Yes, Yesterday got away from me a little bit. I, d I definitely got some clips, but not much. I did some more Depop photos and stuff in the afternoon. I just like took a shower and did a tan, so I didn't, of course, film. <laughs> film that my little self-care and then i got ready for a date with jared and we celebrated i mean i i feel like this is kind of like not something that people celebrate but it was our two and a half years and i don't know that feels significant to me because it's like halfway to five years but maybe that's like kind of silly to celebrate but we tried to celebrate like our and our monthly anniversary and have like a dinner we usually do a pasta versary and we'll like cook pasta but at this point we will either do pasta or like go out to eat or just have dinner in general so the 15th is like our anniversary so today's the 15th so we've been meaning to go to this steakhouse called chandler's in town for a while and we had the best time it was so good you guys i'm not even a huge steak person and mine was so delicious everything though like the cocktails were really good they played um live jazz the entire time we were there and i would definitely go back they give you a hot towel at the end of the meal to wipe your hands i literally I was like are we in first class on a plane i don't know so we did that came home watched the episode of love is blind that was released is anyone watching it i don't want to give any spoilers i guess but i feel like the season felt really short and i don't love how they divided it so much into like the four or however many it was releases i just feel like it for some reason it made it feel like so short for me getting these like little bursts of episodes that i would watch so fast and then have to wait a week Anyway, I'm gonna go to outdoor yoga this morning at 11. So I actually need to head out for that in probably about 20, 25 minutes. I'm making a cappuccino and I'll probably have a little, like a little bar or something to keep me, keep me going. And I'm meeting up with my friend Emily and we're gonna get lunch after that and catch up. <laughs> Thank you. 
Just another day being me. Just another day. Hi guys, I am back from my little morning and afternoon out. I had such a great time. It's been very nice today and lots of people were out in the area i was in and so we did the little park yoga it was just so nice to feel the sun on me and get my body a little stretched out i haven't really like done yoga or stretched out in a while and that was just so nice and she played some really good music some odessa and some other stuff that was just really positive and uplifting and i just really and i'm really glad i went to that and it was so nice to go with emily and then we went to get some mimosas and some brunch i was gonna say lunch but it was brunch we both had this like i'll show you guys a photo of it or I did take a clip of it because it was so beautiful, the presentation of this thing, you guys. It was delicious. It was this like baked croissant with veggies. Um, I think it had egg. <laughs> Maybe not veggies, cheese. It had some ham. That was so good. And then we popped into the new local <laughs> flower shop wildflower floral which i showed you guys my bouquet i made there and um a few vlogs ago it was actually back in like february so it was a while ago so i have this <laughs> bouquet going right now i bought these carnations yesterday because i already had like this is literally stuff from like three bouquets so i had these and these from the bouquet my mom sent me these really cool like succulent flower things but they look kind of funny on their own so they need right some flowers so yesterday i bought these at albertson's but i didn't get any extra fluff because it's so expensive it's literally like eight bucks for a thing of baby's breath at albertson's which is just i'm sorry i can't justify it like i just bought four little things of this which kind of looks like baby's breath and it was only one dollar and fifty cents each so i got four of them and that's still cheaper than a little thing of it would have been at albertson's so anyway, I just went and made this like filler bouquet basically with like white flowers. I got these ones over here, uh, four of these and two of these, which I, I don't know what they're called, but this whole thing was only, my hair messed up, I can't tell. This whole thing was only 13 bucks to make. So I thought it would be perfect to add to what I already have. I also am gonna switch out the vase because this one's not really even a vase. I don't know why I put them in there. It's too short for, these flowers so I'm gonna spruce up this little bouquet and I do have a bit of a headache so I took some Midol I'm on my period so I'm feeling a little bleh I also feel super tired I had some caffeine with my food but then I ate and now I'm like oh my gosh I could just take a nap right now so that wasn't really in the plan but I might just hang out with the dogs and lay on the couch for a little bit I have the um, balcony door open to let in the air today the fresh air and the sunlight and i might just have a little moment where i take a rest or take a nap and i'm not gonna regret it it's saturday afternoon and i feel like that's just what i need after this morning of being out but i did have such a nice time with emily so good to see her and it's just i'm really glad that i did that this morning let's get this bouquet looking all cute i'll do a little like fast forwarded clip um, i'm gonna get a new base and we're gonna get this looking fabulous.
Good morning. We're having some egg in a hole and toast, and the actual hole has toast and bacon. Hi, you guys. It is Sunday. I just got out of the shower and I'm getting not like full ready. This is basically what we're wearing today. Um, just a little bit ready. I'm brushing out my eyebrows. I put on some sunscreen. It's 70 degrees today. I just wanted to catch up for a minute and I figured I'd just turn on the camera while I'm finishing. I'm pretty much done. I might take my hair and do something with it, but I'm probably not going to dry it today. So I don't actually know what I'm going to do with it. But yesterday I didn't really vlog. So I apologize. I don't know. I really don't know why I didn't. I kind of just, after I got back from my outing, I was like pretty tired and had a little bit of a headache. So I just kind of like laid on the couch for a while. And then I remembered that the live stream from Coachella was on YouTube. And I enjoyed that for like most of the evening. I was like back and forth um, watching that and hanging out with Jared. I watched Calvin Harris, who I really enjoyed. He was on super late though. I stayed up until like two in the morning and it still wasn't over. Um, I watched him and I watched Blackpink. That was my favorite. I have actually like never really listened to them much. I've heard of them and I like know about them, but their performance was so good. I was just like so obsessed with all the dancing and like all, just the choreography and their outfits and just the whole thing. So I think I'm gonna like dive into my black pink era because I really enjoyed watching that. Tonight I'm gonna watch Frank Ocean. I'm very excited about that. I probably won't watch any others today because I was looking and I was like not super obsessed with the lineup this year or just like today. We are going to clear off the balcony clean it and put the little love seat back out there. I think Jared's actually already downstairs like cleaning it off and sweeping it and stuff. And then I'm going to put a few things near the front door. Like I told you guys, I wanna show you that. It's not gonna be like this huge transformation. I'm, I'm using the stuff that I had last year. I haven't really bought anything. I might uh, in the future, but I don't really plan to buy anything else. And also it's a 60% chance of snow on Tuesday. So um, I'm questioning like, is it too early to do this? But it has been nice last weekend, this weekend, and next weekend looks like it's gonna be in the 60s. So I'm like, I wanna have like the balcony couch out for the weekends and days that we can go out there. And even if it's like a little chilly at night or something, we can just like have it out there to enjoy it. So I don't feel like it's too, quite too early. Um, anyway, I slept in a bunch today because I stayed up really late watching that live stream and then Jared and I were talking until like four in the morning. So I slept in really late today and now I'm kind of just getting around to doing some Sunday things, but it is Sunday and that's fine. But yeah, I didn't really vlog yesterday. Today, we're recentering. I'm telling myself, we're recentering <laughs> and we're gonna get some clips and continue this vlog. So let's do it. Jared already got a great start out here, moving everything around and cleaning the floors, the ground, I guess. Cleaned this thing, the little grill table, um, the rugs hanging. She definitely got like weathered this winter. I feel like next year, I definitely want to put the rug, roll the rug up because there was literally no point in having it out here because we didn't come out here in the winter, you know what I mean? And it definitely like lost some of its color and stuff, but this rug was literally on sale from Target last year for like 35 bucks. So it's really not a big deal. It still looks really good actually, but I think I will roll it up next year. And then we have some random stuff that was kind of spread out. Um, the plant shelf. And this is where we'll actually put the love seat. We're gonna kind of move this stuff around.
very windy, so I might mute this clip of it's too windy. But Jared brought up the love seat pieces. We're bringing up the cushions in a minute, and then the table. This table will go right here. And the rug's back down, and I'm working on over here. So when it's actually warmer out, I'll put real plants out here. I only have this fake one out here right now, and then like some candles and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna move this too, it's just here for now. But kind of trying to arrange this a little bit, but yeah, I will actually put like real plants and some more stuff out here when it's actually summer, but it's still just a little bit too cold for that. So I'm kind of just trying to arrange what I have that I feel like will be fine for the weather now. Okay, so front door. We still have the winter wreath, which I mean, it's not like super Christmassy or anything, but I want to take that down. Here's the new mat, by the way. It looks so much better than the other one. And then I just always keep this out. I bring the candle in if it's like raining, but that's gonna probably stay there. And then I just brought out this little basket. That's all I've done for spring. I put this little bunny, the mushroom, but I think I wanna put a couple more things. Hi, Squirtle. <laughs> okay, guys, here is the stuff I found in our storage closet down here. I found more than I expected. I actually forgot I bought this sign with the little like flower wreath. Last year, <laughs> weirdly though, it kind of seems like it's picking up on camera. It turned like it was wood and it turned to this like green. I think it must have just been from the sun. But it turned a little green, which is kind of weird. But I don't think it's bad because it's still like a spring color palette. But that from last year, that's from Joanne. And then I found the little blanket and the little thing up here, um, which is also from Joanne. But I feel like it's a little plain. Like I almost feel like I need to do something on this one. I don't think I would add another blanket, but let me know if you guys have any ideas. Maybe I could hang like dried flowers or something. That'd be really cool. They might blow away, but <laughs> something like floral seems like it would be really cute. Then I found the spring wreath, which I think this is also from Joanne, I'm pretty sure. It's kind of a mess because this stuff keeps like falling out, the little fake bunny tails and stuff. So I just shoved a bunch of stuff back into it and it made a mess on the ground. It was more than this, but I cleaned some of it up. I found this little bench that was in the garage or not bench, but like a little stool. And I thought maybe I could use that to prop up the basket or the stuff that I have out there right now. We'll see. I don't know if I'll end up using that. I just found it in the garage. And what else? This cute little sign that says hello spring. It's like a little door and it has a little wreath, but it's like, I guess it's meant for hanging out. But last year I just leaned it up against the wall. So we'll do something. And then this mini wreath, which I thought we could hang up on the balcony because it kind of fits the color scheme of the balcony, which is kind of like um, corally and yellows and then i found these which are i usually use these for fall and put candles in them but i also thought they were really good for spring and these i just got at um home goods like i think around two years ago and i really like them they've stayed in pretty good shape they're cute and i just put like a fake pillar candle in there that goes on a timer i'll either put these by the front door or i thought they could look really nice on the balcony too i can't really like show you or put my camera anywhere out there it's just there's no place to like put my camera so I'll just show you guys when I'm finished doing some front door decorating but we're definitely gonna hang up the wreath the sign and get a cute little setup going out there wow Jared just brought me a beautiful snack he knew I was hard at work <laughs> down here so he just walked the dogs and then made me a gorgeous apple and peanut butter plate I'm gonna put this down here while I while I do my work Okay, what do you guys think? We got the cute, it looks actually so much better than last year. The little bunny tail spring wreath up. And then here's this side of the doorway, the welcome mat. I brought down this table that was on the balcony because we just didn't really use it. Then I put my little basket that I showed you guys earlier with a little bunny and a little mushroom. I debated taking them out, just putting them on top of the table. Let me know if you guys think that would look better, but the basket's kind of cute. It's like a little Easter-y even though that already passed vibe. And then the home sign, this is where I put it last year, just kind of on this side, cause it's pretty big. I think it looks pretty good over there. And then on this side, I'm not so sure about, I think I definitely want to add like those dried flowers or just something up here. Let me know if you guys have any ideas. I moved the big candle over here for now. 
I don't know if it would look better like over there but we have the blanket and then the sign I just put down here because I really didn't know where else to put it I kind of wanted to like elevate it but I don't really want to hang it on the door with the wreath I mean I guess I could hang it here that could actually be kind of cute maybe I'll try that here's how this side turned out by the way basically the same as last year we probably will bring out like a little outdoor blanket at some point but super cute yeah this is all my stuff from last year I'll probably judge this little tray up a bit cleaned off these cushions as best as I could but and then I don't know about this table I don't really like the color of this anymore so I might ditch this we just probably don't really like need this over here you know what I mean like there's not that much room out here anyway so I might move that but there's just a little candle on there for now and then these are like I said kind of just temporarily filled with stuff until I put a few real plants out here so they're a little random honestly but definitely looks better than it did before it was pretty empty before and then we just have the Traeger grill cleaned this whole grill thing off and I think that looks a lot better too so that's what we did today I'm really glad we got this back out here though it looks so much better than when it's just empty out here we came to the park where's Squirtle it's over there <laughs> A little windy, but still pretty nice out. Oh, <laughs> oh! I brought myself a little park beverage. So good. Oh, oh God! He needs to do laughs. He's so excited. Hi, guys. It's. Sunday evening. We got some good work done today. Jared helped me a lot with cleaning off and setting back up the balcony and the front door as I showed you guys. Then we took the dogs to the park and laid out for a little bit and that was nice. It was a little chillier than expected because we didn't end up going to like 5.45 or like 6 o'clock. But today was the warmest day of the week so I am glad that we took them to do that today and I got a little bit of sunshine and was laying out listening to some music and I just needed that today. That was a good little serotonin boost for today. Um, then we went over to um, Jared's brother's house and Katie's house and we saw Layla who's Jared's new niece and we also saw jared's parents and we celebrated brayden's birthday so we just got back from that i didn't film that you guys know i don't really like film the family stuff i am low-key depressed because it was announced tonight that the frank ocean coachella performance will not be on the live stream even though they live stream the entire weekend and they live stream all of the headliners and it's such like a great um, just a way to watch it. It's really high quality and obviously it's like you can see the whole performance without being there and I think it must have been Frank because I don't think it was Coachella. I think it was Frank said that he didn't want his performance to be available for anyone that wasn't there in person which I can respect to make it intimate and he hasn't done a live performance since 2017. If you guys are a fan you probably know that. I was actually at his last live performance and so it's been um almost six years and that is really upsetting because i was just really excited to see what he was gonna do i am gonna end off this vlog actually because i want to get this ready for you guys tomorrow and i'm actually gonna send it in tomorrow so i need to finish it up tonight i enjoyed spending time with you guys as always so thank you for watching you can check out my patreon if you want to you can check out my depop shop i'm actually listing more stuff than i showed in this video i have about 10 to 15 more things that i'm going to be probably listing by tomorrow i'll be back very soon with another video for you guys until then i'll be posting on my patreon and on my instagram and maybe on my tiktok too so feel free to follow on the tiktok as well if you haven't followed me over there because i am posting more often over there as well so i love you guys i appreciate you i hope you enjoyed this little springtime week weekend in my life and i'll see you guys very soon in my next video bye